In this video, we'll take a look at how to create and manage polls in Adobe Connect. Polls are a fantastic way to capture feedback from your participants during one of your sessions. They're also a great way to deliver interaction during your session, ensuring that people are interacting with the room rather than just sitting back and watching something. I'm logged into this particular room both as a participant, Conrad Sims, as well as myself as a host. Right now, we're looking at this particular layout from a participant's perspective. I can see there's a poll here. This is a multiple choice poll, which means I can only select one of the different answers. And as a participant, I can select an answer simply by clicking on the radio button beside any of the different options. There's no submit button, and as you can see, I am able to change my answer while the poll is still open. So the interface is fairly simple from a participant's perspective. Let's take a look at this same layout from my perspective as a host. You can see that I've got a few more options on this particular pod. First, as a host, I am able to choose one of these options myself, so I can also answer the poll as a host. But I've got some buttons here at the top that enable me to do things like view votes. I can see how people have voted. I can sort this either by name or by answer by clicking on the little arrow beside each one of those column headers. If we go back to the poll, you'll notice that I can see the results here as a host or a presenter. If we look back at Conrad's view of things, he's not able to see how people have answered the poll. I can change that as a host by choosing this broadcast results option. And by clicking on this button, I'm now showing all of the results to participants. So Conrad here can see how many people have answered each of the different options. He cannot see how people specifically have answered. So Conrad can't see how other people have answered in the room. He can just see the distribution. He can see both the percentage and the number beside that. And that's something else that I control as the host. So let's switch back to the host view here and use the pod options menu to choose the result format. The default here is to show both the percentage and the number of votes beside each option. But if I prefer, I can choose just the number or just the percentage. And that will change the result format, not only for myself, but also for everybody else in the room. The other button I've got up here is the ability to edit the poll. When I choose this though, Adobe Connect will let me know that by editing the poll, it will lose any of the existing data. We don't want people voting for options that have changed. So I'm gonna cancel this rather than continue because I wanna keep the data here. The last button enables me to end the poll. And when I do that, I get a notification that the poll has been closed. And you'll see that the radio buttons are now disabled, both for me as a host, as well as for Conrad here as a participant. And he can also see that the poll is closed. Let's switch back to the host view. This is a multiple choice poll pod that we're looking at here, but there's actually three different poll types in Adobe Connect. If I go up to the pods menu and down to poll, I can choose to add a new poll. And Adobe Connect will add a poll pod to my stage. I can resize this however I'd like. Let's move it underneath the other poll here and align the right hand sides. And I can choose the poll type with this drop down list box at the top. I can choose from multiple choice, which gives me a set of radio buttons, multiple answers, which gives me a set of check boxes, and short answer, which gives me an open ended option for my poll question. So I can open up this open ended question, and my participants will have this text box down below where they could submit answers. Just like before, I can view the votes, see how people have responded, as well as broadcast the results. The final poll type is a multiple answers poll type. Let's add one of those as well. I'm going to add a new poll. Again, Adobe Connect will place that on my stage. I'm just going to resize this and move it to the right here. Here we'll choose multiple answers. We'll type in a question where you might have more than a single response. So I've opened this poll now and you can see rather than radio buttons, which restrict me to a single answer, I'm now able to select multiple different options in this particular poll pod. Conrad can do the same thing if we look at the participant view. He can go ahead and choose whatever options he'd like. Now I can see the results here. If we switch back to the host mode, 
I can get immediate feedback on how people have voted and view the results, view all of this in real time. But I can also access this in the meeting reports for this particular meeting. So this isn't lost to time if we reset the poll here. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to click on the meeting menu and move down to meeting information. And this will open up the meeting information for this particular room. I can see that there's two users in the room. And I'm going to click on reports to go and find my poll reports. Now, Adobe Connect Rooms are persistent, which means this room can be reused over and over again. And even those same poll questions can also be reused over and over again. So I'm going to want to specify which session I want the reports for. And here's the session that we're in right now, it's session number 10. So I'm going to click on number 10. I can see the participants that are in this session. The session has not ended yet, so this is still open. But I can click on by questions to see in session 10 here the specific poll question that we asked. Now, I've only got the one question that's showing up, and I can view the answer distribution. So here we've got two different answers, number four, which is blue, and number five, which is indigo. We've got 50% for each, and I can see how that those answers are distributed. If we move back one screen, I can also view this by user responses. So this will show me that Conrad selected number five and Alistair selected number four. Now let's go back here and you'll notice for session 10, only one poll question is showing up. I'm not seeing the question about operating systems and the how can we improve this session. I am seeing that for previous sessions, but they're not showing up for this session. If we move back to our meeting, I can see that that's because these polls are still open. So until I click the end poll button here, and I'll go ahead and click it for both of these, the poll results will not show up in the meeting reports. So it's really important to end your polls if you're looking to capture that information in your meeting reports. Let's go back to the screen and refresh the browser. And now you'll see for session 10, I've got the operating systems report also showing up. That third poll didn't have any responses, so it doesn't show up until it's got some responses. But now I can view the answer distribution and view user responses for this second poll as well. The one last thing I would like to do is clear the results. Again, these rooms are persistent and I can reuse these polls over and over again. But now that I've closed it, to reuse it, I don't want the old answers showing up. Those answers will also persist if I reopen this poll. You'll see that I've still got the answers that were in this poll before I closed it. To reset this, I'm going to use the pod options menu and go down to clear all answers, which will make this poll ready for my next session. That's a quick look at creating, managing, and using polls in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.